Hi everyone. This is uh, a new thing for me. <laughs> my um, my husband has my office um, to help me record. Maybe be a little better quality. I don't know. I'm so used to just point and shoot, go live. Um, it's a little odd just talking uh, to a camera. So uh, bear with me, he can edit all he wants to now. So um, I'm thankful that he is a part of this. I'm thankful that, that he pushes me um, to step out of my comfort zone because believe it or not, uh, this is not very comforting to me. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to jump on and maybe get some practice of using using the camera and not having anyone um, relaying back and forth with me so it, it's a little it's a little weird but um, oh, I don't even know where to begin it's been a beautiful weekend I hope you guys had a great July 4th I certainly did got to spend some time with with friends and and um, today we went just out and about, went to the sugar mills, and, and um, it was good. It was good just to relax. I feel, um, I feel rejuvenated. I feel, uh, I feel rested. I, I really needed this time off to just gather everything and clear my mind. It's been a busy COVID season, to say the least. Um, I just want to pray, um, before we, we talk about, I'm, I'm actually, um, what it means to be like in Christ. And we know that that's Paul's favorite expression is, um, or description even as a Christian is to be in Christ. Um, so father, I just thank you. God for this day. I thank you for this, this moment that we can gather and just decompress um, in your presence. Lord, I thank you for friends and family. I thank you, Lord, that you are so faithful. You are so faithful. God, I thank you for those that are tuning in. God, I thank you that, um, you never leave or forsake us, God. You just meet us right where we are. So we just invite your presence, your Holy Spirit, to just come and dwell with us. Lord, that we can hear your word. Let it speak to us. God, that whatever folks may be going through, God, that they will just find peace and restoration in all things. I just ask that you just lead, guide, and direct everything that, that I bring forth, God, let it be of you. Thank you for opportunity. to just be um, a part of your kingdom, to just make a difference in Jesus' name. So, um, in Christ, um, I'm reading out of um, Philemon, and um, it's where he, the brief letter that Paul writes uh, to Philemon asking him um, to receive back the former slave and how Holy Spirit's fruit and his love just works out in a very special way. And it says here that um, in Christ, these are some little, uh, little excerpts, footnotes that are in my Spiritual Warfare Bible. In Ephesians, um, 
it uses the expression in Christ. And to uh, specify the privileges of being a Christian. And Christians are to be faithful in Jesus. The possibility of faithful living is ours because of the presence of God. Holy Spirit, that is to be in Christ. That he dwells in us. When we understand our position... Um, I think of being in Christ when we clearly understand that everything that is under his feet and also under the believer's feet, as ambassadors of heaven's believers, we have the authority of the throne of Jesus Christ. Our battle with the enemy and his demons takes place in heavenly places for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against rulers of darkness of this age against spiritual hosts and wickedness in heavenly places and that's Ephesians six twelve. you know um, you and I have no authority within ourselves to take on the enemy or his demons. Yet these wicked spiritual forces are fully aware of the authority that Jesus Christ has over them. Even though as an ambassador of our country lives outside of his own country, he still has citizenship when he speaks it. He speaks with authority of Washington, D.C., and all of the might of the United States. Likewise, we are citizens of heaven, and here on earth we speak all authority of heaven. Sometimes we like to shrink back and let someone else fight our battles. There's nothing wrong with coming in agreement, but I just encourage you to not shrink back to rise up, to use your boldness and your authority through Holy Spirit, that you too can declare restoration and healing, joy, breakthrough. Once you get comfortable with who you are in Christ, I know it's it's hard for me even. It's really hard. Um, to do things for myself um, because I'm always wanting to make sure everybody else has their breakthrough. I'm wanting to make sure that, you know, everyone else has their healing and their restoration and their joy being restored. So I encourage you, you know, latch on who you are, who you are in Christ. Allow Holy Spirit to just lead you. You know, prayer of faith over your family, over your children. You know, we all want to see our children and our grandchildren and our nieces, our nephews, our brothers, our sisters, our parents. You know, we all want to see everyone just um, be well. And I just want to come into agreement with that with you this evening um, to know who you are in Christ if you're not sure who you are just get alone with him let him show you who he is in you Um, you know when we walk in the spirit there's such a peace there's um, there's serenity. There is a steadfastness that we have um, when we walk in that peace, when we walk in that freedom, uh, when we walk in the freedom from fleshly desires, and we walk in that, that peace um, 
that's there, that rest that's there for God's people. Um, you know, we rest when we find how to walk in his presence. Um, we don't constantly have to be um, seeking a word. <laughs> we don't have to constantly be seeking a prophetic word. Those are good. They're great. But sometimes the Lord just wants to talk to you. He just wants to share what's on his heart uh, for you. Um, I don't want you to be a victim of circumstance. Um, I want you to be able to hold your emotions captive because emotions um, sometimes aren't. They're not truthful. So we can't rely on our flesh, our emotions. Um, we have to really rely on Holy Spirit to just lead us and guide us in, in every step, honestly, of, of the way. And um, I just want you to be free in that. Know who you are. That comes, you know, as part of knowing who you are in Christ. You are a new creation and um, you are loved you are adored and I want you to really let that sink in that um, the Lord is faithful always faithful and um, I know it's kind of odd me talking to this camera lens I kind of, it kind of feels weird, <laughs> um, but this is why I'm practicing. So you guys may never see this video, and that's okay. But um, yeah, I just, I just speak peace, clarity, healing. restoration God, touch your people touch your people Father Lord we pray for this nation we lift up our president Lord We lift up all the leaders across this nation that they will seek your face and each one will turn from their wicked ways, God. That you will heal our land, the land of the free, the land of the brave. From sea to shining sea. It's your land, God. Jesus, it's your land. Thank you for trusting us with your land. God, I ask that you just um, be with our local leaders and administrators on a state level, on a city level. On a county level, God, I speak restoration over every body. Believers and unbelievers, because they are all your children. They have all been called. God, let them receive. Just let them receive. Draw them close. They will be able to feel your closeness. They will be able to feel your Holy Spirit. God, I just ask that you be with every apostle, every prophet, every teacher, evangelist, 
God, I just pray that you will touch every pastor. Lord, that you will you will work throughout this nation, through all of us. God, I pray right now that you will just speak to each person, unlock their gifts, show them what they can do to make a difference. God, give them a burning desire to do more, to be steadfast in your word, to just truly rise up and be the army that you've called them to be, the mighty warriors. God, I pray that no one in this time would shrink back, that it's all hands on deck, that you're raising up the army, the army of the Lord. So God, I just pray for wisdom, knowledge, boldness, and a pure burning desire to do exactly what we've been called to do for such a time as this. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so we're going to watch this, and if it looks like it's editable, <laughs> then maybe you'll see this. And maybe you won't, but I love you. Until next time. Bye-bye. That was horrible. That was horrible. Yes. Horrible. <laughs>